All new tonight, more lawsuits over the Maui fires. And now we know how much money Hawaiian Electric's insurance company will cough up if HECO is found liable. Our Daryl Huff has that and what it likely means for customers. In a recent filing with the Public Utilities Commission, Hawaiian Electric put forward its insurance policy, which only provides about $165 million in liability coverage. If the company must pay more than that, it's likely Maui ratepayers will have to foot the bill. The key to that is whether investigations and courts conclude HECO equipment or negligence caused the fire. Video like this of a morning fire provoked multiple lawsuits despite strong denials by HECO and there's some evidence a second fire burned the town. At this point, we have absolutely no idea what caused the second fire. And the newest lawsuits, at least four more this week, are spreading the blame around. Maui County, for example, is accused of causing more misery with its fumbled emergency response, its failure to maintain its property, and regulate landowners to manage theirs. There's West Maui land and other large landowners have put locked gates um, over many of these old government roads, uh, and that blocked a number of pathways for individuals to be able to uh, more easily evacuate. If no clear cause is proven, experts say the many defendants would end up having to pay damages based on their level of responsibility. If HECO and Maui County bear a big portion, that's bad for the innocent residents. Maui residents are ratepayers and taxpayers. So if the county is liable or MECO is liable, that both gets to most Maui residents, but in different ways. HECO remains the prime suspect, though, as shown in last week's congressional hearing. I would like uh, for the witness to provide to the committee uh, in detail the enforcement measures that the commission can impose on a utility that doesn't comply with the regulations. The PUC could decide that HECO can't pass its repairs or legal costs onto their customers, but the PUC chairman could not say that to Congress before hearing evidence. It would be like a judge issuing a decision before the case has been tried. So it wasn't really a fair question? No. If Hawaiian Electric is found liable for most of the billion dollars of damages, it may be too much for Maui ratepayers. In that case, the law does allow for ratepayers across the state to pitch in. Reporting from Hawaiian Electric headquarters, Daryl Huff, Hawaii News Now.